my farm. It will remain untilled unless by my hand. Which sucks! Anything but the farmer. Oh man, I remember Poisonous Pete from the previous game. Let's see. I should probably put stuff in this chest. Did they already? No, they haven't actually burnt through all the food. Which is probably for the best. I'm going to give them all the, the wheat I've got. I've got plenty of food to probably last me for most of the rest of the chapter. I guess I might as well grab the remaining potatoes. There is a bit. next to each other. Uh, let's see. It is an interesting little plot line that we are we are constantly worried about betrayers and backstabbers. Cuz I don't think we had to worry about that at all in the previous game. I'm a little... Oh, I can actually remove the bodies from the coffins. Well. Okay. And dirt. My apologies. Drit. There we go. Okay, next order of business. Let's pick up my steel. Because I'm probably running kind of low on this stuff. Probably make some more uh, steel swords too, maybe. Uh, I mean, I could make a whole bunch of fire swords if I wanted to. What's required to make the uh, this gold ingots? It's certainly better than what I'm rolling, but I'm not really sure if we need if we need that. I'm just gonna make 20 more of these and just keep them around. What are required to make the uh, make the Graves, or is he just a nice guy like that? They asked me to, but I don't think I'm actually required in the slightest. What the? They must be putting their, their spare blocks in there. Anyway, 30 steel broadswords for whoever needs them. Honor system, right? Okay. Let's see about these whirling witch gizwits. Oh, it's only letting me make two. Dang! I should have made some catacombs. I will be... I, I could make a catacomb. Uh, actually. But I know we get to make a prison down below. So... I don't know. It's one of those where... Once we've got the prison down, I'll make a catacomb. But we gotta get the prison first. Pr probably. We yep. we not got some walls? Yep. 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 Oops. Actually, too many walls. Yep. Okay. I want to put some stained glass windows in here. Thing is, I don't get a whole lot of opportunities to even put them down. I mean, I do. I could probably go put in quite a lot of stained glass windows along the way. Let's do. It that looks quite nice.
placement's bad, though. We gotta put him here. This is a very confused room. Okay, so it's a large, cool room. Did I break it? Oh, interesting. This doesn't even recognize that it's a room. Well, I broke it. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Nobody does anything in here. And it was never a requirement. Nor do I care about happiness points anyway. Okay, uh, let's see. So we got the we got the whirly gidge wizards. Let's uh let's go plunk them down, I guess. Y'all finished building? Y'all done anything? Wait no, this is it. I'm here. Okay, so where do the wish widgets go? Oh, they go much further back. They go right here. Is that it? What else am I missing? Castle walls. They run out. They ran out. Sort of? Or is it just some some bonehead probably uh some bonehead probably just moved it to another box and then I picked it up. I'll just speed this along a little bit. There we go. That's weird. I don't know why that happened. I'm a little disappointed we can't do like more friendship stuff with Malroth. So he's not like, why do you not trust me? But, oh well. Smithing work on this blueprint, dude. With these wish widgets in place, our defenses are complete. The whirlwinds those devices send forth will pluck the air force from the skies and throw them at our feet, ready for our soldiers to cut them down. That's if our soldiers are still in position to fight. I fear th there may still be traitors in our midst. That is a concern, but so is Melroth. Why did Ra's mirror reflect no reflection of him whatsoever? I know he's your friend, dude, but there's something inhuman about that man. I cannot help but feel unsettled by his presence. I know what unsettles me. The thought of the people in Moonbrook doubting and distrusting one another. Questioning the townsfolk's loyalties would do exactly that. And if there's a spy among us, we may have no choice but to wait for them to slip up. What, what's going on? Are we under attack? Okay, am I out of... I'm out of these. But you know what? Let's, uh, very quickly... Replace the floors. I doubt that it's gonna matter. But in the off chance that, uh... If, there's, if the off chance happens that something comes along that starts, like, breaking the ground... Also, this looks nicer. Like, a lot nicer. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna hit at some kind of breaking point with Malroth here. And everybody's gonna be like, he's the traitor, and we're gonna be like, no, you idiots. And it's gonna be sad. I mean, they're already suspecting him super hardcore. Let's get this last layer here. Oh, looks like I missed a spot under some of those spikes.
There we go. Yeah, that that looks considerably better. How do these things work. Early gig full made. Dang it. All right, whatever. Uh, anything else I need to immediately care about? We might want to get some more uh, pressure plates. Actually, let's just grab all of them. Yeah, look at all this stuff that's just sitting around for me. Uh, let's see. And my spikes. We'll probably tear up some of this at a later date. Sometimes excessive behavior leads to more than ruin. Sometimes excessive behavior leads to punctured monster feet. And that's dangerous. For them, not me. Oh, I can already t t tell today is going to be one of those days where I'm just hungry streaming the whole time. I guess it makes sense. I've only had like two slices of pizza today. should cover the roof of the castle with spikes and flame traps too. Yeah, I shouldn't need it at this point though. <laughs> I don't think anything's going to be flying in anymore. Now that we've got those uh, whirlwind traps. Yeah, mm, pizza. Yeah, I like I like me some pizza. Unfortunately, uh, I've been on a health kick for the last year-ish. Especially since we've moved here. A lot more, like, vegetarian options and stuff. I kind of miss the old days where I just, like, have a, a pizza to myself. And I'm just, like, an absolute glutton. Sadly, those days are... Am I going to say gone? Well, kind of. Okay, let's, let's actually get rid of some of the, uh... Some of the spikes here. I mean, technically, I could just be gross and have a whole pizza to myself, but... Eh. It, it, it sounds super appetizing, but I know I'd feel bad after the fact. Yeah, I like these spikes. But it might be a good idea to just add another layer of fire. Also, I've never seen the uh, the fire layered together in like a double layer situation. Curious how that'll look. It'd be interesting if I actually just had the whole place just like a checkerboard of fire traps. That might be better. You miss soda too. I honestly, I don't miss soda. So it always made my teeth feel weird. Oops. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Gross. out. More fire! So I've got all these spare fire traps. I might as well make use of them. right on the town limits. That's amusing. Okay. Not terribly necessary, but still. Okay. So this should be egregious as hell. Let's, uh, let's get this war on. I guess let's go accept all of our happiness hearts. Because they're just littering the floor at this point. 
all this nonsense. I love the fact that they went absolutely, like, nuts. With making defenses for this chapter. You straight up don't need it. Like, all I, all I ever needed was a moat. Oops. This is the bedroom. Let's see. Okay, we good? Looks like we're good. Yep. To war! Looks like we got the Air Force's attention. They're back again, and in numbers this time. Dude, my lad, did you build plenty of boom balls like I suggested? They're sure to serve you well. What do you say, dude? You ready to fight? Yeah. Oh, that was Jeremiah, sorry. I just want you to know, when you use that mirror on me, it really hurt. But now's not the time to be talking about feelings and stuff. We need to get out of here and clobber those monsters. Just remember, dude, an SN Warwick might be pretty tough, but if you want some suckers smashed to smithereens, I'm your man. Don't forget who your friends are, eh? We really do need just, like, a friend time with Malroth. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch. I guess I got boom balls. Like, I'm pretty freaking sure I don't need them. They do not have nearly as much range as I was hoping they would. Nor as much damage. <laughs> Even a moat works on flying monsters. Well. I guess it's probably because it, it downs them kind of permanently. Probably should have moved the uh, the wind traps up. Because they work here at like keeping them down, but it would have been nice to have them earlier. Maybe? I'm not sure. Well. Back up to watching. Until Melroth needs me. <laughs> For hammer smashings. Because, yeah, it probably would have been better to put that at the beginning, because I don't think they take back off, honestly. I maybe should undo some of these. Some of these ballistas. Eh. It looks like it's working out fine for me. I still got enough, uh, soldiers. Ah! Impudent, impudent humans! I'll slay you all myself, then pack the meat from your bones! Cosmic Chimera, the Air Force's awful admiral. Take him down, take him down. Nope. Alright, whatever. I'll take out the mobs. Oh, that's easy enough. I guess I'll help with this one. Let it not be said that I am a... Uh, I'm not a participant. I participate. I just mostly watch because you really don't need me. Holy shit, these people are geared to the teeth. We might want to go get them, uh fire swords, or just go nuts and just give everybody mountain cleavers. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, Feather-brained humans, why do you fight your fate? You may have defeated me, but the scare force are still waiting in the wings. Squark! 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 Uh. 
God, that's, that must be awful, just, like, dying on flame, flame traps and fire bits. We did it, dude. The Air Force is defeated. Jolly good show, dude. We couldn't have done it, done it without your wish widgets. They really saved the day. But the war is not won yet. We must take care not to under, uh, underestimate the scare force. Let's gird up our loins and bring all of our strength to bear on the final battle. Speaking of which, we'd better repair the castle before these scary so-and-sos come wandering our way, hmm? Fear not, dude. We budding builders will have the whole place back like it was in a jiffy. I know it's only a game, but the fact that it calls him an admiral really bugs me. <laughs> and yes, the king has a weird obsession with girding his loins. How about that then, dude? What is new, I'd say. Hello? Hello? What the devil is going on out there? They're being affected, but these guys are tough. and hurting. Wish they'd done the repairs after these guys had come through. Unfortunately, these guys also just drop iron. I really don't need iron on this chapter. Oh, the spikes. Oh, my zap trap. Phew, that was a hard battle, but we finally managed to lay him low. That must have been a, a scare for a scouting expedition. The beasts barely flinched when they hit our zap traps. They were to attack in mass, we'd have no hope of stopping them. Ho ho! Do not fret so, Anessa, my dear. Fret not, for I have an answer to your woes. In times of great vexation, we must go straight to sleep. You will awaken refreshed and invigorated, and the path you must take will be clear to you. <laughs> um, thank you, your majesty. Truly, wisdom knows no bounds. Same goes for you, dude. You have earned your rest. We shall begin our preparations anew on the morrow. <laughs> you have a gift for me, I see. Once again, you prove your usefulness. Thank you, Father. But two of Hargon's heroes lie slain, and their forces scattered to the winds. Verily, the two you spoke of are irritations indeed. The accursed builder and Malroth. Still... It is as you say, no matter how hard they fight it, the humans cannot escape their fate. When doomsday comes, death awaits them all. Please, Father, spare me from this fate. Let me live. Lord Atlas makes his way here as we speak. Should your efforts continue to yield results, he shall surely grant you your wish. Dude, I've been thinking, from whence do our beliefs arise? They say the teachings of the children of Hargon are absolute, but no knowledge one discovers is ever absolute. Were they then not revealed to us, but imposed? For so long, we of Moonbrook believed it our sacred duty to fight evermore. But if this is not truly the will of the heavens, and merely a rule set by another, then I... I... Hey. What are you two lovebirds nattering on about? Ah, forget it. Dude Warwick wants to see you. He is jealous. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna redo bits of my defenses here. Mainly because it keeps getting wrecked and that annoys me. I guess we'll talk to Warwick. Ah, oh, dude, we must begin work on a new magical weapon if we hope to mount an effective defense against the Scare Force. 
But before that, I think it's high time you gave the Builder's Bell another good ring, don't you? Every time you do, we gain new allies and grow as both soldiers and builders, improving our chances of facing down foes. So go on, dude, amass all the adulatory energies that you require by seeing to the townsfolk's needs, then pour all that vim and vigor into ringing the bell. Thank you for ringing the bell, dude. Its resounding peal has rallied new soldiers to our cause and made better builders of us, one and all. Now the only army that stands against us is the Scare Force. The final battle may soon be upon us. Victory is close at hand. Now more than ever, we must be on our guard. I believe that a traitor still hides among us, dude, and have given the matter a great deal of thought. I think I might know who the dastardly devil is. At the moment, my evidence is but circumstantial, but, but rest assured, the moment I can prove my suspicion, you will be the first to know. probably wants a chapel and he probably wants more more stew. I'm actually not sure if there's any more castle cafeteria upgrades, so I'm probably wrong on Jeremy's. There is still one out there, which is completely useless given this layout. Uh, I guess we might as well grab the ladders. Oh, they redid the <laughs> they redid the walls here. There, yeah, there is another one out here. Oh no, there's another two. Well, we really don't need them out here, at this point. Mainly because they don't do anybody any good. Oh. The devil? Oh! I got it. Anyway, I'm going to tear up this whole segment, because none of these are useful to anybody. And they're also kind of stupid. I mean, obviously, the NPCs had no way of knowing I had a giant freaking moat. shame because the moat is by far the, the most superior defensive structure I have ever used in this game. Anyway, so let's grab the, uh, let's see, let's grab this. And let's put five central ballistas. Do we think? Because honestly, shooting down the center is way more useful than these. Because these barely help. At all. They only hit down that specific line, which is inconvenient. The, the enemies will always path, pass through the center. Okay, I also have more of these. So we might as well put more of these down. Because they're going to be passing through them constantly anyway. Uh, let's see. And probably right here. Let's... I think you can't place that there. more than I meant to, and that's really annoying. Okay, there we go. So that should create 
a much more considerable, like, defensive lineup. Admittedly, the armor doesn't seem to really care about the rest of this. I, I was really hoping we'd still get attacked by the initial enemies. The water finally got its tower defense. It's just a shame because the towers don't mean much. Like, they helped initially, but every, every, uh, every subsequent, like, wave nullifies it and doesn't add any of the uh, previous guys that were weak to anything. It's not terrible, but it's just like, uh, I do wish that we were getting regular basic monsters as well. Because I'm pretty sure these are going to be more armors that don't care for. Yep. On oh, these su suckers super suck because they break my, they break my bits. Oh, maybe they just break the barricades that are in their way. Well, this is why I redid everything to just do a bunch of extra damage. But yeah, it does look like the the central ballistas were perfect. Oh, and he cannot break the traps. Okay, that's good. That'd be that'd be annoying. But yeah, in the very beginning, they were giving us uh, meat and a bunch of other resources, and that was so nice. I haven't been doing that as much, and that kind of sucks. Anyway. Dude, my lamb, we've won a great many battles of late, but what a, at what price? The brave soldiers who lost their lives in the defense of our home were fully aware of the risks, but now perhaps they may find the peace that they were denied in life. To this end, dude, I humbly beg you, build me a chapel, a holy place, wherein we might pray for the repose of the souls of all who perished in this cursed war. We have a Moonbrook Chapel Blueprint. Now we just gotta figure out where to put it. There's a little spot in the corner that'd be just perfect for it. Oh. That design you've drawn for the chapel looks just how I had imagined it, my lamb. If you were to place a chest nearby and fill it with materials, I'm sure the people of Moonbrook would be eager to aid in its construction. Okay, so we are we are good there. Should probably also remember to harvest uh, the crops. Because our farmer was false, and now we have nobody to harvest crops for us. Sucks. Not that we like really need to worry about it, but still. Where's all the spare potatoes? Oh, did I already I already put them all away? Uh what about the grain? Did I put that away too? Or, oh, no, 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 no. It's all just in my hand. That's what's going on here. I was wondering about that. But I've got, I've got 24 potatoes just sitting around. Yeah, I'm, I'm solid on food. They set the, the scarecrow to harvest crops. Well, the scarecrow won't harvest crops. I mean, the field's set to grow potatoes, but that just means they'll plant potatoes there. They'll still harvest it, but without a dedicated farmer, I don't think they do. Because I know the farmer was actively managing the crops. No matter how you boil this thing, it's really inconveniently placed. I guess what we could do. I'm gonna open up some space here. My thoughts are, these people really don't need that much space to get to the ballistas. Alright. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, why the hell would anybody ever use any of these ballistas anyway?
There's never a point where anybody is ever going to attack from that angle. I'm just gonna fill it in. And probably just destroy all of this stuff. And we're just gonna put the church along this side. I think. So what is water trying to build? Chapel! Might also turn that uh, staircase so the entrance is to the side. That's a nice stair though. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, what, what am I trying to build? I'm trying to build the church. And they're like, put it out in the middle of a walkway. It'll be fine. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like here? In this little, like, gap area? I guess we'll give it a little bit of room to breathe. Like that? That seems reasonable. Well, let's hope that has enough space. I'll probably redo things so it's got, uh... A proper roof. Let's see, did you kill the Air Force and the other main attacking force? I killed the Air Force, I haven't killed the Scare Force yet. They're gonna complain because we don't have enough. Let's move it out one more. By the way. Okay. Let's see, so where's, where's my giant spam of chests? There it is. Oops. I just stowed all of my chests. I shouldn't do that. Good thing I just ra absolutely raided that other, uh... That other chapel for every bit of materials that it had in it. kind of hard to turn the staircase. Because we don't have any more of those, like, side rails. Then again, I'm not really sure if we need this staircase either, but... Eh. Oh, let's see. Move towards the gates? Nah. have good solutions to all of this. Okay, so that should work. Oh, that's weird. Actually raised up by one. Holy crap, look at this. Look at them go. Barn raising on steroids. gonna sit here and appreciate. Whee! <laughs> I guess we should probably talk to Jeremy. God, Zooks, dude! We've given Hargon's armies a jolly good hiding! All that remains is the Scare Force! And with you on our side, I bet we'll have that lot trounced in a jiffy! Soon enough, peace shall reign in Moonbrook! And long may it last, under the enlightened rule of our wise and gracious king. He's a good, kind man, a man of the people. He's more than that, he's a symbol of Moonbrook. He deserves a throne room befitting of his cause. We may just, we must do away with that awful, disfigured throne and replace it with something more magnificent. The room itself could do uh, with being a good piece larger, too. Which brings me to my request. I'd have you repair the throne and build an enormous throne room within which to place it, the largest royal hall ever seen. Then simply add four bold banners, and bra a brace of braces in the same room, and voila, his majesty's new throne room is complete. 